Hello Aquarius and welcome to your messages from the Spirit Realm reading. We are going to let the spirits come in and say whatever it is that they want to say, what they want you to know because they see all that we do not. So let's get started by pulling a card to open your reading and see what the spirits have to say. Okay, a being from the Pleiades, number 33. This is a higher level um, energy that's coming in, Aquarius. This is uh, the Pleiades Collective that is trying to give you guidance, but also let you know that they are around you. And Libra and Scorpio also received this card. So if you're a rising um, or moon, Libra, Scorpio, either one of those, like this is definitely um, going to be a very strong message for you with this Pleiadian energy. But overall, Aquarius, you're being guided by some very high level beings right now, which means you are in some um, point of major change, transformation, transition in some area of your life. So let's pull a numerology card and see what, okay. Oh. Oh, I love this. It's about love, Aquarius. And I just have to point this out. This is number six. This is number 33. The Pleiades are trying to help you find love. Love for self, love for life, love in friendships, love in family, um, romantic love for some of you. And I just have to say, number six and number 33 are very significant. Um, so moving forward from this reading, when you're seeing a sixes and 33s, that's this Pleiadian collective letting you know that they are around you. They are near you. They love you. You are a part of a like higher terrestrial uh, family. Like you've had physical body in different lands prior to this earth or um, scattered amongst earth's um, earth lives and like lives elsewhere. You are truly ahead of your time, Aquarius. And um, with this, I get like a lot of you don't feel like you fit in or people don't really get you. They don't really know you. Even if you have a lot of people that call you friend, they don't know your true heart. Like there's so much depth to you. And so the Pleiadian Collective is like, Aquarius, we're coming in and we're helping you align to your soul tribe members. It's time for love to be in your life in a very big way, as well as love to finally be expressed with all that blue of the throat chakra. So number 33, number six is significant. Um, you meet a new friend, you meet a new romance, 33s and sixes keep popping up. That's a huge sign. This person is part of your soul tribe. All right, so let's pull some more messages. Everyone has value and trust your intuition. All right, so you've got a lot of uh, blue in the Pleiades and the numerology and then messages from the guides. Blue, it's time for love to be expressed. And also um, with trust your intuition, Aquarius, uh, there's certain times where uh, you may like be passing a stranger or something and you feel like a desire to like maybe speak to that person or, or um, say something to them but you maybe you hold back act on those intuitive promptings in the future because when it's a total stranger that you just feel very drawn to it's because they're they're like the same as you they're from the same place as you you guys have a, a the same frequency at your soul and, and you'll be drawn into them or um you know if somebody is like randomly approaching you and you know you're usually not down for that if there's something inside of you that's just wanting to open up and connect do so um it's like it's time for you to know a new aspect of your soul and hear what it's saying to you because up to this point, um, you know, you've all been doing different things in life, but 
right now it's very important for you to focus on love and and um not just through others but also loving yourself and you know your past on loved ones your angels the pleiadians you know all these spirits speaking to you through your intuition telling you your worth telling you your value telling you that you will be loved that you are unique that you're special and i just feel some of you like the message doesn't go it doesn't penetrate you don't receive it because you know you may have experienced some really crappy relationships that has made you question you know i'd just rather be a loner and just know people than be close and intimate and vulnerable and open and now it's time for you to return to that space it's time for connection with soul tribe and your intuition is going to tell you who these people are but to me this feels like there's an activation taking place to where um, in the past you may have felt like you couldn't trust your intuition or feeling connection with somebody and now like you're gonna you're just gonna know Aquarius and that major transitional thing that you're going through it's like um, loneliness sadness uncertainty of like where I belong in this life and with who into utter knowing without any hesitation so let's pull some more cards oh and everyone has value um, I did touch on that a little bit you know with what the spirits are trying to tell you but just because somebody in the past has not uh, fully become aware of the value and your worth and what you were giving don't let that take away from your own perception of your worth and your value because it's really about them and their lack of awareness than it is anything being wrong with you or you um, falling short in any capacity Playing it safe. Look at there's six again. Spirit and int intuition and manifestation. And the loving woman, number six. Oh my gosh, so six, three, and six, thirty-three and six. Threes, sixes, 36, 63, so significant for you. I'm wondering if for some of you, um, there's a new connection coming in March. Some of you, there may be a new connection coming in June. But this is all I got to say is here it is, playing it safe, where you may connect with people, you may talk to them, but there's a you're guarded, okay? There's always some form of protection around you where you think in your head, you know, I do like this person. But if they stab me in the back or they just walk away, I'm prepared for that, which means you're not fully open and invested. And it's out of fear of being hurt, of being undervalued, of being rejected, dismissed, okay? And with intuition and manifestation, that goes back to this intuition card where the Pleiades are helping activate your intuition in a much bigger way. And when the heart space, the heart chakra is blocked um, due you know, to grief and unforgiveness, our own intuition gets really muddied up. And so as uh, the Pleiadian energy works to help heal you and open you back up, that's how that activation takes place into your intuition. And then here it is, people, the loving woman. And this could represent a woman or a man, but this is what's meant to come to you for love um, in romance or friendship or maybe um, some romance and some friends. Okay, different for all of you. But this is what's coming in. It's time for love to come back to your life. A return to love for Aquarius. Let's pull some more cards. Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, 
and seven of wands. Okay. So with this Ten of Cups and right next to the Ten of Wands, you just, um, it's like no matter what I do, it, it always ends up the same. And do I even want to waste my time, my energy, my emotions? Like, do I even want to waste my time getting close to people, really getting to know people in a much, much deeper sense and fully connect? Like, you're really, your energy's really pulled back and there is worry about it. Um, you know, some of you, there could have been just a very traumatic relationship that hurt you so deeply. This could go back to childhood. This could be friends. This could be romance, family members. It's just, you've been hurt, Aquarius, and it's, you've really closed off to um, connection and love as in an act of self-preservation. And in that space, it's like muddied up your intuition. And um, I feel like if when people try to get close to you, it actually makes you afraid. Like you question their motives. Like there's got to be something more. You want something from me. You're trying to underhand me somehow, some way. And it's because of the trauma of the past. And so the Pleiades are like, we're coming in. We're going to help you heal. We're going to rise you up, Aquarius. We're going to remind you of your value and your worth and where you truly come from. Like, you're from the stars, Aquarius. You truly are. And you have this connection to this very highly evolved uh, collective of consciousness of these other beings. And I feel like you've had lives with these other beings. And that's why sometimes this particular existence feels so foreign or so lonely to you because the human experience is vastly different than the Pleiadian experience. And so you um, have a hard time adjusting and some of you could even identify yourself as a star seed. Like you feel that, you know that. And you know, the Pleiades, as well as the other spirits around you want you to know that love is returning into your life, Aquarius. You don't need to fear. You don't need to think that you have to walk alone and that you know, no matter what you do, you're always gonna get stabbed in the back and and be overlooked um, there's something about the healing and your self-esteem and through that like it changes your energy as well all right let's pull some more tarot two of wands Six of Swords, Eight of Cups, King of Wands, and the King of Cups. Wow, you got a few people coming in. We've got that loving woman up there, and then we got the King of Wands and the King of Cups coming in and coming through as King Energy, whether male or female. These are like um, emotionally mature, spiritually mature people. And so in this bottom row, yeah, it's time for you to go from one world into the next with the two of wands where we're leaving the loneliness and the past behind as like, you know, a ghost that's no longer going to haunt you or harm you. And here it is getting very present and focused in the now, which is going to open you up to some new love relationships, whether friend or romance. And here it is, the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. That's uh, both energies about um, moving on, moving forward. Uh, Eight of Cups leaving something behind. Eight of Swords moving into better waters, right? Um, and so this loneliness, this sadness, you know, however you're resonating, like you are moving beyond that and you're leaving it behind permanently, Aquarius, because there are these people that are coming into your life and maybe one will come in March and the other one will come um, in June, you know, or they could show up at any time. Love can happen at any time, but, um, you know, three and six are very highlighted. So March and June feel strong for me, but we have King of Wands and King of Cups. 
This is somebody who is very high energy, is a leader, is ambitious, is go, 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 knows how to take risks, knows how to have fun, all right? Um, very fiery spirit. And this is somebody in the King of Cups who is very emotionally stable and wise and strong and grown, very sensitive, very empathic, compassionate individual. So there's some good people coming into your life. And I definitely feel at least one of them, if not both of them, also have this Pleiadian connection to them. And that's why as soon as you guys meet each other, you just feel like kindred spirits. And at that point, you know, with one or two new people in your life, you're not going to care about like, the past and what didn't work out like you're gonna feel like oh this is I finally fit in it's a return to love for Aquarius with very like-minded and liked energy people where you can relate you can be comfortable you can be real raw and vulnerable with them and they can also take the mask off in front of you and be safe with you as well because you guys are from like the same collective all right let's um Pull some messages specifically from your past on loved ones and see what they would like to add to this reading. It's like a return to love in a big way, Aquarius. We're helping to bring a little luck your way. You deserve it. So passed on loved ones, helping to return you to love as well as the Pleiades. And we, oh, look at, here's another three. Take control of the situation. We know you can do this. Yeah, don't count yourself out, Aquarius. Let the past go and let these beautiful new souls in. Yes, we will assist you in helping the important people in your life use love. So they're bringing people into your life that are going to connect to you, your soul tribe, Aquarius. Okay, let's pull some more messages from your loved ones. Okay, so we've got charms and jewelry and um, any sort of charms and jewelry like you find outside on the ground, you know, randomly in a drawer somewhere, there's purpose in that. You're being led to that charm for a reason and it's your loved ones around you. So whatever charm you find, there may be just immediate significance for you and if you're not sure, do a, a, you know, a Google search of the spiritual message behind that specific charm, object, um, stone, whatever it is. But your loved ones uh, definitely want you to find charms, jewelry, things like that to let you know that they are near you and you're not alone. Now we have gentle. You haven't done anything wrong. You need to be easier and gentler with yourself. I love you and I think you are amazing. Aw, see Aquarius. Um, the people that, you know, screwed you over, it's on them. It's not on you. And now we have water. Water is meaningful or is about to hold great significance soon. I'm acknowledging the ocean, a lake, or a waterfall. So this could be um, a special significance attached to your loved one so that you know who's coming through. Or this could talk about, you know, something that's coming up. Um where there's going to be like this body of water that's around you during a very significant meeting of somebody um, or something else playing out in your life. But also with water, this is talking about the deep cleanse to your heart and soul, bringing you healing, Aquarius, from the past. All right, let's pull one final message. Here's your artwork and see she's sitting in water being cleansed don't compare yourself to others smile and be content with your natural beauty yes don't try to fit in Aquarius you um, come from another dimension and you will align to your soul tribe don't try to conform to fit in with anybody, not at all. You were not made to do that. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.